morning oh um this morning i'm going to just make a little fun fold card double gate it's not a double gate card right? it's a, just a gatefold card using the celebration adorable owls stamp set uh, i'm just going to check that i am live where i'm supposed to be just to make sure just bear with me two seconds I don't know about you, but I am really fed up with this cold now and uh, could really do with spring arriving a bit quick. Right, right. So that's the stamp set. I'm just going to turn the camera around and um, we'll get on with making the card. I hope you like it. It's, they're adorable. They are literally adorable. That's the name of them. And... Uh, that's what I think of them. So just bear with me two seconds. Just flip that over. Okay, so say so this is the stamp set. You probably see it better now. Um, it's a nice birthday owl. One flying and one with a bow tie on it. They are red rubber, so really useful. You can see I've got most of them out at the moment. Okay, and we're also going to be using another celebration item, which is the Dandy Designs DSP. As you can see, there's quite a lot in there. Um, and it's really useful for backgrounds. Um, and this is the card. So it's a gatefold card with a belly band. So this is just a really simple but effective little card. So that's what we're going to make today. And it just line it up properly it just goes back over and slides down okay so the card base is a standard eight inches along by five and three quarters down and i'm just going to score it at two inches and six inches rather than our um usual four inch across okay and then just gonna grab my bone folder and just reinforce the scores okay so i've already cut the dsp um, so again, this is one and three quarter inch by five and a half inches, and you've got two of those. So I'll just stick those down. It gives a mm -hmm. I think I might have cut that slightly short. Oh, the other one's slightly long. Hold on a moment. That's right. That's for the card base that didn't finish cutting down. Bear with me. To just take, yeah, take the edge off of that. go back to sticking this down and it gives you a eighth of an inch border all the way round. Okay, just a bit of Tombow, not too close to the edge so it doesn't squirt out. I've got sticky fingers now so that's going to be fun. Again, just like that. Okay, so we'll just pop the 
gluing that out of the way and just bring in the white mat for in the front and my memento ink this is really good for um, using with watercolours and things so the inside I'm just going to do the flying owl And this is Coastal Cabana ink that I'm using for the base of the card and the sentiment. Put that one out of the way. And while I'm here, I will just... stamp the um, birthday party owl call it a birthday party it's got a party hat on so that's why i'm calling it a birthday party owl okay and then i can get rid of all the ink so with the two owls i'm just using our watercolor pencils we've got got two sets um, and they've got that one's got 10 in and that one's 13 but they're um, they all coordinate really well with our cardstock so for this little chat I'm going to be using a Coastal Cabana for his eyes literally you don't have to be fantastic at colouring um i'll do this one as well because when you add water to these they just sort of move out a little bit and um show you it's i'm going to use these they're stamping the blender pens are called and basically they're they're clear um foamy tips and you just literally go over where you've colored in And you'll see, I don't know if you can see that on there, but there's a slight, slight tinge now to the pen lid. And the eyes are no longer looking quite as, that one I haven't done yet, but as you can see the, focusing, you can see the pencil lines. So then when you go over, using these it takes the pencil lines away so that it looks more like paint and then when you've finished doing one colour you just literally rub it out on a scrap of paper until it's taken the, the colour stops coming out and it's clean again and you can use it for another colour then Okay, so my owls I've literally coloured in in a brown and and grey. So um, this is early espresso, and obviously depending on how hard you you press, you will get different shades of brown. Um, so, in effect, it, it's more of 
more than one colour really um, and again you don't have to you don't have to be really careful with colouring or with very good at it really because it it's all quite easy to make it look nice with um, the blender pens this will show I'm not going to make not going to sit here and color all of this even though it's it is very relaxing and if you like coloring these are really good pencils that would be worth uh, investing in they're not that expensive I think they're about Can't remember, I'll have a look in a minute. Okay, but as you can see there's uh doesn't even matter if you go outside the lines really. Um just this beak. Now on the other one I did do the inside, these sort of bits here grey, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to colour that now, I'm just going to stick the middle bit in. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. And then it folds like that so for the belly band I have a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock and a matching piece of DSP and I've cut this nine and a half inches by an inch and a quarter and this one is nine and a quarter inches by one inch and then so you do end up with the same eighth of an inch border all the way around the outside move the pencils not out of the way once this is stuck down because you want the belly band to be complete on the back and then you fold it over and it's actually stuck down there it needs to be a complete four inches on the back but you also need a little bit extra for it to be able to bend and then to move up and down. So I've just scored a two and a sixteen, no, two and an eighth. And then, so then you want four and one eighth. If you score at four and one eighth as well, it sort of gives you the the sixteenth bit. Otherwise, it'll be too baggy. Okay, and then you can just check it out, fold it round. On your card and make sure that it will move up and down. Okay, and what I've literally done is just positioned it and stuck stuck it then with some Tombow. Just so that it's straight. Just hold that for a minute just to stick it in place. Hmm. I've just noticed my 
video on the screen is saying it's ended, so I don't know whether I'm still live or not. Um, maybe if there's, if anyone's watching, if you can put in a comment just to let me know whether I'm still live. Um, Don't know what's happened. Don't know what's happened there. And give me a thumbs up or say if I'm still it's saying I'm live up there, but it's not saying I'm live on my screen, so I don't know. Anyway, I shall just carry on and show you how I made the belly band and this little bit. Now this is the punch. That I've used hopefully we're still going so it fits quite nicely in there so it's the one bit and then I've just cut another one out of coastal cabana Just have to move this out of the way a moment and bring in my trimmer. And what I've done is taken taken this edge here and placed it. Stand it up. Place it like this so that I can cut. the actual um, punched out piece of card in half okay. and then just by putting some glue on there it doesn't matter which way it doesn't matter which way round it goes that way round these things are always easier when you don't have to Try and do it and film it. But you just put a little border and again on that way so you've got a nice little border around there. And then we're just going to fit him on top you can do it on the side in the middle wherever you fancy really as I say that would be colored in but, and then it just slides on and then for a bit of bit of glitz I've just used these um, it's really pretty embellishments in Coastal Cabana. Okay, so that's basically making the car while a bit of colour in. It's just gonna find my catalogue so that I can just have a look at the watercolour pencils and that and um so if you like colour in then this is obviously really good and you and we've got a lot of stamps that you can use them on so they're a really good investment and I should have got this ready first shouldn't I really okay so the blender pens are on page 129 of the catalogue and they come in packs of three 
and they're 11 25 each for a pack of three that is you can also use um blender no, what are they called water painters are these here i have got some but i haven't actually used those yet um but they're like more like paint brushes and then the watercolour pencils are on page 126 and the first assortment has got the 13 colours in and they're £15 and the second assortment has got 10 colours and they're 11 75 as I say they all coordinate they're all different so you won't get a duplicate in each pack um, but they all coordinate with the rest of our card stocks and inks and stuff. So that's really useful. Okay, so that's just a very quick little um, demonstration of how to do your gate fold card. Um, and using the adorable owls. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Bye.